Hello, my YouTube channel followers. I wanted to talk to you uh, quickly today about a uh, uh, situation that you might be running into if you're having a hard time keeping BTAs. Uh, I don't think this topic gets uh, a lot of uh, attention or discussion on uh, various reef forums, but uh, uh, I ran into this situation a few years ago and uh, I believe it uh, uh, killed some of my BTAs and other corals. Uh, it took me a little while to figure this out, but uh, uh, I switched salt and uh, that's when things uh, started to go south. And uh, uh, just serendipitously, I ran into a situation where, or I found a case where um, it might uh, have caused this uh, to happen. And uh, this kit here that you see, the iodine and iodide kit, uh, helped me discover this. So this kit tests for, um, well, iodine and iodide. The uh, iodide is uh, what some people uh, dose in their tanks. Um, I guess there's controversy about whether that's uh, helpful or not, but uh, I do it uh, not too often, but uh, I, yeah, I guess I don't really do it now, but I was doing it uh, before by using a diluted uh, Lugol's uh, solution. But anyways, you don't want the elemental iodine in your water, uh, but you do want the iodide. And uh, what this test kit does is test for both. So in the instruction sheet here, maybe I'll pan out so maybe you guys can see the full instruction sheet if you pause the video. But anyways, in step three, after you uh, prepare the uh, sample, it says right here, uh, shoot, here we go. Yeah, right in the middle of the screen here, if a blue color develops now, elemental iodine is indicated. This should be viewed as a hazardous status. Use a dechlorinator such as prime to remove elemental iodine. And so interestingly, when I tested my water using this new salt, it uh, clearly showed that there was iodine in my reef water. And I think that was causing a decline in my tank. And so I have prime and uh, so I added that and it did remove it. So, um, and things uh, definitely improved uh, from there on, but I switched to uh, my standard uh, salt uh, soon after that, which is my um, instant, uh, instant ocean, the uh, reef crystals. Um, so I would suggest uh, either switching to the uh, reef crystals or maybe picking up a kit like this to see if you have uh, iodine in your water. If you do, that uh, certainly is something you want to uh, take care of, remove. So hopefully this was helpful. Uh, not too much discussion on this topic, but um, I still had the bucket of the salt that I bought, but I don't want to uh, name the manufacturer. Uh, maybe it was a bad batch. Maybe it was meant to be for uh, uh, non-reef uh, salt water, but, but anyways, it definitely did contain uh, iodine. All right. Thank you.